Hello everyone, praise Jesus. How have you been? I hope you've had a wonderful week and I know that you're blessed of the Lord and he has taken care of you because God is for us. He is with us. He's the one who takes care of us, watches over us, provides for us. He's our healer, our provider. He is our everything. And we are so glad that you could make time to join us today in our evening service as we worship the Lord, as we celebrate together who God is to us. So I'd like to welcome you as we worship him. Uh, gather yourself together. Feel free to lift your hands, worship with us as we lift the name of Jesus and glorify him because, you know, we were created to worship him. Welcome. Katoka chu mbinguni Kaja hapa duniani Kamwa gadamu kalivari Ile nipate kukombolewa Na nime okoka, nime oshwa dambi Nime kuwa safi, nina kusifu Mile Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Well, happy to be here today and to meet all of you. Happy and so busy in the things of the Lord. Let me say there is hope. Besides all this, there is hope. I can see some light far away in the dark tunnel. We are getting close to it. So today I want to, to share with you a small song. Life is easy when you're up on the mountain. You go the peace of mind that you never know. But things change, you know, when you're down the valley. But don't lose faith, don't lose faith. Don't lose hope if you are never alone. So whoever you are, in your home, in your car, wherever you are, in the bus traveling or in Africa, in America, I mean wherever you are, there is hope for away in the dark tunnel. Things change when you are down the valley. Don't lose faith, for you are never alone. Don't lose faith, you never alone. God is with you. Jesus is with you. With you. Oh, the grace of God is well enough to take care of you in a situation. Even in this calamity we are in called Corona, we, we are making it. We are making it just as the disciples had purpose to cross uh, to the other side. Jesus told them, get over there. He never told them, go and stick in the middle of the sea. He said, get over there. And there were turbulence, there were storms, and there were all kinds of things against them. But the world wars, I will see you there. Get over there. So, brother, sister, whatever your situation, don't you worry, there is hope. You will never lose it. Don't lose hope. The Lord is with you. You will make it. You will get over it. You will be on the other side. You will rejoice with the saints on the other side. Get encouraged today. There is hope. Jesus said you will be on the other side. You also will be on the other side. We will make it brothers and sisters. We will make it Kenyans. We will make it Africans. We will make it Americans. We will make it. However hard the situation may be right now, we will make it. He said we get over to the other side. And he will meet us there. Successful on the other side. Happy on the other side. Healed on the other side. Oh yes. So if the situation bothering you was pain in the body. God says it will be over. It will be over. There is hope of, to see another day. There is hope to see another year. There's hope to see another week. We will get over it. We are going through this valley situations. But there is a time we shall be on, on the mountain and enjoy the joy of the mountain, the peace of the mountain, and enjoy the celebration of the mountain. Jesus Christ loves you all. And he's, he's asking for your heart. He's asking for your heart. He's asking for your life. Traveler, Jesus loves you good. He, he's asking for you to, be, to come close to him. 
Come walk with him. Come live with him. He will give you hope where everything is hopeless. He will give you courage where there's no courage. Oh, I pray you come to Jesus. I pray you surrender your life to Jesus. I made him my personal savior. He's done me good. Make him your Lord and your savior. Things will change. Things will change. Oh, life will be worth the living. Make him your Lord and your savior. Life will be worth the living. Business will be worth doing. There will be a change in the business. There will be a change in your business. Just accept him into your life and into your business. He will change it all over on you. He will bless you. He will prosper you. He will enrich you. Oh, he will physically, spiritually, materially, he will enrich you. He is the Lord who owns everything. The heavens and the earth, he owns them. He will bless you. I wish you would come and receive him as your personal savior. I wish you would say, yes, Lord. I wish you would say, you are my Lord. You are my savior. You are my God. I wish you would surrender to him. What a joy it would be, not only here, but in heaven. Angels who stand up for you as you give your life to Jesus. Uh, as you surrender yourself to the Lord. Angels who stand up for you and receive you as you say, yes, Lord, come in. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm here and I'm, also, I'm so glad I can reach you in your home. I can reach you in your car. I can reach you on your highway to your workplace. I can reach you in your workplace. I'm so glad I can reach you wherever you are. And my desire is receive him. Let him come into your life and make him Lord. Make Jesus Lord of your life. Surrender yourself to him. He will make all things anew. He will make all things anew. He will save you. He will. He will save you. Yes, he will. He will cleanse you. He will. He will give you joy. He will give you happiness. Will I encourage you? Receive him. Let him forgive you your sin. Let him forgive your life. Let him forgive your life. And let him cleanse you. Let him become Lord of your life. Thank God he is he's Lord over my life. And things have never been the same. He's changed my life of anium. I'm experiencing the joy of the Lord. I'm experiencing life in the Lord. I pray you give yourself to him the way you are in your business office, the way you are in your car traveling up country, down country. Ah, I pray you give him your life the way you are in your house. He will change it. Life will be worth living. I'm so glad I'm born again. I'm so glad you can be born again. I'm so glad the old things can pass away. The old memories can be forgotten and passed away. The bad things can be forgotten and passed away. Just accept him into your life. He will forgive you of your own life and grant you on a phase of life, new life in Christ. Receive him. Won't you receive him? In this time of corona, oh, you will see things different. You will see things, life will be different in this corona times because you will still find hope 
in these corona times, you still find hope in these hard times. I would like to pray. Uh, I, I like talking to my Heavenly Father and He hears me because He is my Father and He loves me. So whatever you may be going through, put your faith in Jesus as I pray. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. Is it pain in the body? Put your faith in Jesus. Believe Jesus. Is it business failure? Put your faith in Jesus. He'll raise it up again. Business will come back again. Life will return. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I want to thank you for this particular hour that I am able to talk to my brothers, my sisters, my friends, my neighbors all over the world. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for those who were able to hear me today. Thank you for those who are able to hear your word today. I am praying, oh dear Lord, move in your might power of the Holy Ghost and convict hearts and lives of people wherever there they are. Convict them of the lies, dear Lord, and bring them closer to Jesus. Holy Spirit, draw their hearts to you, O oh Lord. I am praying, Lord, for families, families here, and families represented here. I'm praying for families away, wherever they are, at home, or in business. Father, meet their needs, O oh Lord. Meet the need of that family, Father. Meet the hopelessness of that family, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, meet the traveler. That one who is traveling from point A to point B, from city to city. I pray you give him journey masses. I pray you protect his life. I pray you protect him on the bus. Protect him on the plane. Protect him in the car. Oh, let your masses flow over and take care of his life right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you because you will take care of that family. You will take, uh, take care of that family. You take care of that brother, uh, that sister, and that neighbor, that friend who is busy at work. That neighbor, that friend who is struggling from point A to point B. You will take care of him. And we give him masses, genuine masses in his travels. And show him, you are the Lord, you are the Savior, you are the Keeper. Father, I thank you. I'm praying for those who are resting at home. Meet them, dear Lord, and give them peace. Give them peace in the rest at home. Give them joy, Lord. Give them peace, Father, in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for church ministers wherever, oh Lord. Encourage them, especially at this time. Pastors in their homes, in their churches. They have never seen the church for a long time. Wherever they are, Father, at home. Encourage them and give them a word to share with God's people on the day of their meeting, Father. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. For this congregation, thank you for the pastor of this congregation. Bless this congregation. Bless this pastor. Enlarge this congregation. Enlarge this pastor's vision. In the name of Jesus, thank you because you're working for him. You're working on his behalf and you're working on their behalf. And things to be better to the glory of your name, O oh Lord. Thank you, dear Father. Thank you for Kenya. Thank you for Kenya. 
Thank you for Africa. Still the storms in Kenya. Still the storms in Africa. Oh Lord, hear the cry of your people in Kenya. Hear the cry of your people in Kenya. And save Kenya. And save Africa. And save Kenya. And save Africa. Thank you, dear Father. And this corona mind you will seize. They will carry on the mind of Jesus. They will carry on the mind of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I pray for them today in their business. Father, let them have some good time in their businesses. Let them have some good time in their homes. Let them have some good time in their travels. Lord, be God to them. Wherever they are and whatever they are doing, be God to them. Be God. Be God in this church. Be God with this people. And show yourself strong to this people in all your works. I thank you and I praise you for everything that shall happen in this place. I thank you that you will take care of every brother, every sister, and you will give more wisdom to the pastor of this church to guide them to wherever they should go and whatever they should do. Let your name be glorified, Lord. I love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. What a wonderful time we've had in the presence of the Lord. I know that you've been lifted, you've been encouraged, you've been reminded that God is our Father and He loves us and He is for us, for me and for you, for our families, for our country, for the world. He cares for us. So I hope you've felt encouraged just like we have. We'd like to welcome you to worship together with us. You know, giving our tithes and our offering is a form of worshiping the Lord. And how else? can we worship him by showing him our gratitude it's by giving it's one of the ways that we can be grateful to God so I'd like to give you our till number which is 7001567 our till number again is 7001567 uh, go ahead and bless the Lord using that number and I know that the Lord has already blessed you I would also like to give you a number that you can use for your inquiries about us or if you just want encouragement to someone to pray with you and our number is a safaricom number it's 0703-805-471 i will repeat again it's 8 0703-805-471 thank you so so much for creating the time to come and worship with us thank you so much for welcoming us into your house your car wherever you may be watching us from, just know that we love you, we are praying for you, and you're blessed of the Lord. Stay safe, keep masking, and keep loving Jesus. Thank you.